Welcome back again guys, so today I have a special video for you all. I'm going to teach you one single exercise that you can do to immediately improve your playing. Just one exercise, super super easy exercise. I've done this ever since I started learning the flute. The key is that you have to do it every single day or else you won't get the results that you want. I like to think of it as like running a marathon. It's not possible to run a 10k marathon if you've never done it before. But if you do it every day and maybe the first week you run one kilometer and then the second week you run two kilometers and the third week you run three kilometers, you'll eventually be able to run 10. So it's the same with this exercise. If you don't do it every day, you won't see the results. When I practiced this exercise, it helped me improve my tone. It helped me learn how to play more legato, more smoothly. It helped me create a better sound and also play more in tune. I like to call it sustained notes or long tones. So. First, start by picking the most comfortable note for you to play on the flute. And so that can be B or A or a G, usually it's those three. First we're going to go down the register because the low notes are easier to play. So I'm going to pick B and I'm going to play the chromatics. So B to B flat and then hold it uh, or sustain it for as long as I can until I run out of breath. And while you do this, you should be focusing on making the best sound possible. So that means that you don't want an airy sound. You want to focus the note and make it sound as sweet as possible. Kind of like hitting the sweet spot for every single note. That sounds a bit airy. I'm going to try and focus my embouchure so it sounds less airy. So, some things to remember are, you should be taking big deep breaths before you play. You should be playing with very fast airspeed without pushing. And also remember, you have to practice this exercise without vibrato. And the reason is because vibrato often conceals a lot of tone issues inconsistency in your pitch or your tone or anything like that. It's kind of like a concealer. So once you've completed all of the chromatic notes all the way down to low C or B, depending if you have a B flute or not, then you go back to the original B or the original note that you picked in the beginning and then you go up in chromatics. 
practice this every day. It should be only about 10 minutes or so of your practice schedule, but it will make a huge difference if you're doing it correctly. I've done this exercise ever since I started learning food all the way until I was in music uni. I was still starting every single of my practice sessions with sustained notes. So yeah, that's my tip of the day for you. I hope you find it useful. I shall see you again next time. Bye!